Mexican authorities in the state of Oaxaca have freed 63 people from modern day slavery, the majority of them children, and six of whom were less than two years old. While dressed up as clowns, victims were forced to perform routines and beg for cash from drivers to make money for a human trafficking gang. 11 suspects were detained. Rossi Orozco is one of Mexico's leading anti-human trafficking campaigners. There are many farms where slavery is practiced, where we see situations such as this one, where the victims are trapped, they are paid nothing, and worse, where they are minors. Here we are talking about something very serious. It's an extreme form of exploitation, kids as young as two years. Despite Rossi's work, Trafficking in Mexico is a growing problem. The rescued victims were Sotzil Mayans, an indigenous people from Mexico's mountainous and impoverished south, where human trafficking is a serious issue. Human trafficking is a growing problem in the country. Mexico's National Human Rights Commission says that as of 2016, half a million people are caught up in modern day slavery and that every year 21,000 minors, nearly half of them indigenous girls, are added to their number. Enrique Garfinas is a convicted human trafficker who now campaigns against the practice. We look for vulnerable people, vulnerable women, either economically or with family problems. There comes a point when you stop seeing them as human beings, because the only thing you're looking for is to make the most money possible out of them. The more, the better. Yet it's not a problem that can be fixed without the commitment of the authorities. Mexico has laws to combat, punish and eradicate human trafficking. But this law needs to be upheld, and in some states that hasn't happened. The problem is that there is no willingness to do so. We have to turn around to look at the impoverished who are taken from their communities, who are reduced to slavery, and try to save them, while putting the criminals who do this to them in prison. The 63 trafficking victims are now in the care of the state authorities. But with more being captured daily into this clandestine industry, the authorities win may be just the start of the fight back. Alistair Bavistock, CGTN, Mexico City.